seven seconds to put your butt in your seat so that you're not milling about, can distracting our esteemed contestants. The order of the contestants was randomly selected before the start of today's meeting and is as follows. First, Ron Gehring. Second, Vidya Srinivasan. Third, Angelia Gill. Our first contestant, number one, Ron Gehring. A true love affair. A true love affair, Ron Guerin. I had to do it in the morning. I had to do it at nighttime. I thought about it during the day. I thought about it while I was in bed. I even ran downstairs in the middle of the night because I just had to do it. <laughs> Madam Contest uh, Master, fellow Toastmaster, distinguished guest, I have a confession. I've been having an affair. Now, you may ask, what kind of affair could I have been having? Oh, I was having an affair all the time. Keep in mind, I was only five years old. <laughs> <coughs> the affair that I was having was for cartoons! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love cartoons. I would watch cartoons from the beginning of the day. I would come down in the morning, plop, <laughs> just sit and watch cartoons for hours and hours and hours on end. Let me take you through some of the cartoons that I would watch growing up. I would start with one of my favorite cartoons, The Flintstones. <laughs> Flintstones. This was back in the olden times. Where we didn't need diesel fuel. We didn't need carbon emissions. All you needed was a good pair of feet. That's right. <laughs> you get in your car, do the running, zoom, off you went. Loved every episode. At the end of each episode, Fred would go put his cat outside. The cat would get upset, jump through the window, put Fred out, close the door. Fred would be outside, Wilma! 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen, their house wasn't that big. I don't understand why Wilma didn't hear Fred. <laughs> Let me move on. Another cartoon that I liked, George of the Jungle. Now, George of the Jungle had our favorite caveman, George, swinging through the trees. You guys know the song. George, George, George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for that tree! <laughs> that was another cartoon that I liked. Another cartoon, Buff Bunny. Oh, Buff Bunny. And all his misadventures, eating his carrot. Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> another cartoon. <coughs> would be, whew, sorry, I ran out of breath. <laughs> Another one of my cartoons was Woody Woodpecker. Now, Woody Woodpecker, you know, it seems like all of my cartoons were kind of smart alecks. <laughs> if you think about it, Buff Bunny, smart aleck. Woody Woodpecker, smart aleck. Fred Flintstone, definitely a smart aleck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys understood the different love for cartoons that I had, another cartoon that I loved so much as I got a little older was Transformers. Now, Transformers, they made three movies out of this. You had Optimus Prime, you had Megatron, you had all of these different cartoons that at some point, they 
they they make they make the movies out of it. Another cartoon, as I got just a little older, my father would not let me watch this cartoon, but it was a cartoon favorite, hmm. The Simpsons. <laughs> 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 now by this time, this is definitely a smart character. Bart Simpson, eat my shorts, Running down the stairs on a skateboard, jumping out of the window, jumping, going out with the writing on the, the chalkboard. How many have ever had to write on the chalkboard after school? Oh, I see somebody, some people have some discipline problems. What's <laughs> just me? <laughs> then I got a little older, and I watched one of my new favorite cartoons, which I'm sure a lot of you in here watch which some of the children in here shouldn't watch, <laughs> Family Guy. <laughs> now, that's my new favorite cartoon. Now, even though I'm an adult now, I still love to watch cartoons. I'll pick a lazy Saturday, Sunday, and I'll just lay in the bed and watch SpongeBob all day long. <laughs> you don't have to be a you don't have to be a child to watch cartoons. Bring out your inner youth. Lay back and think about all the times you had when you were younger. And bring that youth out of you when you decide, you know what? I'm gonna take a day off. I don't feel like listening to these crazy kids. I'm going to shut my door, I'm going to turn on Nickelodeon, and I'm going to listen to Spongebob. <laughs> so the next time you want to think back to the days of old, to the days of your youth, to the days when things were so simple, when you didn't have to pay bills, you didn't have to worry about going to work, you don't have to think about anything. Turn on the TV, find the nearest cartoon channel, and just have at it. Madam Contest Chair. May we please have one minute of silence for judges to complete their ballot. Contestant number three, Angelia Gill, Finding Humor in the Face of Fear. Finding Humor in the Face of Fear, Angelia Gill. Don't talk about that skydiving trip because I'm not doing that. 
Angie, we're gonna put you on the list because we're, we're all gonna go. This is a team building effort. We gotta do this. Don't put me on that list. So my boyfriend, everybody is together. They're getting ready to, to register and have everything, everybody register. He calls me on the phone. Hey, Angie, what you doing? I'm fine. What are you doing? Y'all hanging out? Y'all taking care of business? Yeah, we, we're taking care of everything, but you know we're getting ready to register for the skydiving trip, and I know you want to be on this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told you, do not put me on that skydiving trip. I'm not going. I'm not jumping out of a plane. But Angie, everybody's doing it. Y'all, she's real excited about it too, y'all. Y'all, she's real excited about it. <laughs> Angie, I'm going to put you on it. You know, they're registering now, so I'm going to put your name and everything. Well, stop telling them I'm jumping out of that plane. I am not jumping out. Do not put my name on that list. I told you. Y'all, she's just as excited. See, see, see. Okay, Angie. Okay, Angie, I'm putting you on, okay? Talk to you later. Click. Click. Did he just hang up on me? I'm not jumping out of that plane. Y'all, I'm not jumping out of that I am not jumping out of that plane. <laughs> he crazy. I'm not even going to think about this because he's not doing this to me. <clears throat> Time goes on. And this Tuesday morning, about 7.15 a.m., I remember the time, my girlfriend calls me. Hey, Angie, you ready to jump off the plane on Saturday? What you mean jump off the plane on Saturday? I'm not doing that. Y'all doing it. I'm going I'm to see y'all. I'll take pictures and everything. Uh-uh, Angie, he registered you. And he even got the, the video going, so we're going to see the video and everything. You jump out of the <laughs> So he wasted his money, because I'm not jumping out of the plane. You crazy. <laughs> Angie, I got to go. So I'll see you Saturday. See you Saturday morning, OK? Click. That's the second person hanging up with me. I'm not doing this. I go to work that day, and I'm just like, this is crazy. I can't. I all these meetings, and I'm, I am not focused today. This is not going. Day went crazy. Day was really, really bad. But we're going to fast forward to Saturday. Saturday is when it got real. Saturday, he wakes me up saying, Angie, get dressed. We got to go. We can ready to go. I'm taking pictures of y'all. That's why I'm going to take pictures. Huh, <coughs> Angie? Get dressed, get, get dressed, get dressed. I'm getting dressed, but I'm taking pictures. I don't know what you're doing. All the way up in the car, I'm like, I can't believe. He's got me going up here. I'm holding on to the seat. I can't. Gosh, I can't do this. I can't. I'm not. Honey, it's going to be OK. Don't worry about it. We're going to have fun. We got about 40 people. This is going to be fun. <laughs> you got 40 people. You don't need me. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. Oh, gosh. We're at the building. Sky Dive Chicago. My life is gone. <laughs> I, gotta I gotta get out of the car. My legs have got to move. I gotta get out of the car. I got to get out. Okay. I walk in here. Oh. I can't believe this. We go up to the registration, right? And they weigh you. I'm like, maybe I'm overweight. <laughs> <laughs> Darn! That didn't work. <laughs> okay. He's going to pay for the videographer, right? Maybe his credit card ain't going to take the charge. <laughs> oh, it worked. <laughs> okay. We got some papers. What kind of papers? Oh, they're just papers. You know, no matter what you do, you cannot, you, you can't sue us. No matter what you do, even if it's our fault, you can't sue us. You got to initial everything. Everything. I can't get everything. I can't sue. Nobody can sue because I said I'd jump on my own free will. But I'm not saying I'm they they making me jump. Okay. Okay, I'm a big girl. We go, we go sit in the training class real quick, right? 30 minutes for me to jump out of a plane. Okay. And they tell us, see, this is what they tell us. I got this. Just hold on. You hold on here and just follow with me. I got you. So the guy that's jumping with me, he's going to do everything, right? I just got to hold on right here. Don't hold on. He said, don't grab the plane because it might be an accident. But if I hold right here, right? So I, can, I can hold right there. I can hold right there. So we go down. Train is over. We go to put the stuff on me. Oh, that's my parachute. Okay. Okay, good. I get on the plane. And we up, 
and it's, it's up, and you go up, you can't come down unless you jump. <laughs> <laughs> so if I get scared, I, I can't. No, you got you got to jump. And the guys, they are so hype. They like, yeah, we can ready to do this. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Let's get this. You get on the plane and you're sitting down, okay? And they're behind me. They cook up these these parts and they say, oh, they, they can handle twenty five thousand pounds, okay? So okay, okay. And we get up to the door. And it's open. And there's nothing there. <laughs> So hold on. Okay. Okay. Ah! And I made it. And I don't have to kill anybody. I made it. <laughs> Thank you. Judges now have as much time as they need to complete their ballots. Science, silence during this time is appreciated. Madam Podcast Master, all ballots have been collected. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, this concludes the Humor and Speech Contest. We will announce the results at the end of the meeting. Now that all the contests are over, I'd like to take a few minutes to get to know our contestants. Would that be okay with each of you? Yay! Yay! <laughs> all right. First up, let me have Ron Reed. Give it up for Ron Woo! Reed. appreciation for your being here today. Outstanding. Now, I have some notes that you filled out to share with us on uh, your background. And the first thing I see, well, first of all, tell us about your, your home club. What's the, the name and the number? Toastmasters 5990. Trustmasters? Trustmasters. Trustmasters. Yeah, and it's called Trustmasters. Why? Because of Northern Trust. Northern Trust. See how that works? Yeah. All right. Now, uh, first off, I have to say you were in the Marine Corps. <coughs> Marine Corps. So let's give a hand for his service. I was a computer programmer. Computer programmer. And what do you do now? I'm a computer programmer. How about that? How about that? That's outstanding. Now, I see you're interested in travel and technology, but that's not the same as travel technology, no? No, ma'am. Okay, have you thought about that? No, what is travel technology? Well, so I have some friends that work for Amadeus and Orbis and Expedia, oh, and they get okay. to do technology for travel. Oh, that's totally wonderful. It's just so geek out over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll ask you the same question I asked a... a our, our target speaker, hi ha, and that is, what are your plans for Halloween? Oh, well, Halloween is not only uh, just a day to get dressed. I will be uh, He-Man this year. He-Man? Yeah, with the uh, hair in the crop. But wow. way to go, right? Was that one of your cartoons also? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and it's also my anniversary, so I'll be nice. my first anniversary. First uh -huh. anniversary! you joined Toastmasters? How long ago was that? What have the results been for you? One year ago, um, I joined Toastmasters, and it was directly after a uh, conference with my new bosses mm. at Northern Trust, and it went horrible. And I thought, oh my god, what can I do to have a better meeting the next time? And I'm walking down the hall, and I see these signs, Toastmasters, we meet tomorrow, and I thought, okay, I'm in. <laughs> Outstanding. For those of you in corporate clubs, those signs actually work. <laughs> Put up the flyers. Fantastic. I just want to thank you so much. You are so online, put marketing sites online. So if you're an e-commerce provider or a manufacturer, let me know because we can build you a nice website. Fantastic, fantastic. Now you're a past district finalist. I am. And you have some fascinating hobbies. I love, this is my favorite line, what are your interests or hobbies? You guys are fascinating people. I'm going to have to up my game when I answer that question again in the future. You're an adventure racing, fitness, health, and orienteering. I don't even know what that last one means. Right. <laughs> Tell us about it. Imagine, so we have the district, right? And for those of you that have been to the deck, there's those random park districts. All these woods, you wonder, like, who goes to a park district? Well, I do, because they put flags in the park district that we have a map, and we look at the map, and we find out where they are. So, for example, let's say there was a flag over here at the United Center. I'd have to figure out how to get from here to the United Center on foot with just a compass and a map. It's really easy downtown because it's a grid system and you can find where you're going. Try doing it out in the woods. I was lost this weekend doing it. 
and it was still a lot of fun. You so needed him in the dream with the thing. <laughs> the competition or you're that guy that needs the, the to win or what, what's your inspiration, your motivation for the work you do to be here? It's not an easy thing. It isn't and it's actually two things. Uh, for those of you sitting out in the audience, I remember my first district conference and it was in the north and I remember sitting there and I saw someone on stage doing table topics. I can do that! I can do that! Well, the year after that I didn't do it, but the second year I actually got to the district stage Maybe this is easy, but it's not easy. But that's the best part of it because it pushes me to be a better speaker. No matter how good I, I think I can be, no matter how good, how many times I practice, I haven't gotten as far as I can be yet. And so it's it's just that drive, it's that outlet, it's it's sharing something with all of you. Fantastic. Thank you for that, sir. And thanks for doing that. I took just to get, you know, through the year, and there was a Russian film class. <laughs> I heard those were kind of, like, kind of scary. Nappy, nappy time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, notable accomplishments. Again, I had to, like, I had to, like, up my game to hang out with you Toastmasters. Hiking to the top of the half zone in Yosemite. Yeah. Hello. And this one is my favorite of all time. Um, marrying an awesome man. Tell us why you're marrying an awesome man. He's here. Oh, hey! <laughs> Tell me, do you often have those kinds of vivid dreams in the morning? I do. I mean, I do a lot of 
really strange dreams. But this was a little cooked up uh, for the speech. But then, huh. but then the dog incident, but that was true. Never let a good, <laughs> you guys have heard of this. Never let a good story get the, the truth get in the way of a good story, right? So we don't actually fact check here. <laughs> All right, you love to travel and you love to see places. Where's one of the most fascinating places you've been? Last week I was in uh, Colorado, Denver. Denver, Colorado. It is beautiful. It is. It was. Who all has been to Denver? Yeah. Denver was beautiful. Stunning, stunning. Yeah. And where do you plan to go next? Yosemite. Oh, all right. So you can hook up with, uh, yeah, and talk, Bethany and talk about the Half Dome. <laughs> right? And, and maybe Matt will give you some orienteering tips. <laughs> power support group. <laughs> okay. Now, anything that you're looking forward to with the holidays coming up? We've got ha uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Any big traditions that you celebrate? Any uh, trips you take? Yeah. Halloween, I've not been through yet. Uh, uh oh. I mean, I've not dressed up myself or something. I would like to try it sometime. Uh, but we have festivals going on in India as well. So this is the October-November season is the festival time in India. So, yeah. Is that Diwali? Diwali, yeah. Yeah. Next month is Diwali. Yeah. And all the lights, you can see yeah. them. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Fantastic. A lot going on. All right. Now, I have to, given your speech title, I have to read your favorite quote. Yeah. Uh, Dream is not something you get in sleep. It is something that will not allow you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that's from... Uh, I, I mean, probably, I don't know, everybody might have heard, or most of them might have heard, Abdul Kalam. He was India's uh, president, mm -hmm. former president. He passed away recently. Mm -hmm. and he was a, he's a role model for most of us. Yeah. That's his quote. Yeah, I love it. And thank you again for thank being you. here today. And there's a six minute bit where everybody's just rolling on the floor vomiting. And then rolling around in and grows up and vomiting more. And I was like, what, what has happened to our society? And I've watched it ever since. <laughs> Tell us about your home club. Home club is Trustmasters Club. 5990. Five nine 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 yeah. 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 Four dollars. This is very easy. All right. Now you're interested in photography. Yes. Tell us what do you like to photograph? Animals, products, outdoors? Um, uh, I take pictures of any and everything. Really? Black and white color? Black and white color. Um, I use a uh, regular steel camera. Or steel camera. My cell, my cell phone. I was taking pictures of you yeah. when I first got here. I was like, oh, this is, this is very pretty. And now I'm going to take pictures before I leave because I'm looking down now. It's like Gorgeous. better at night. Do you, take, uh, do, you, do you develop any of your own film? All right, Chicago Photography Center. That you, that you can take classes and learn to develop your own film. It's fascinating. All right, so you said something here about um, being in a band. Yes. Tell us. Um, so uh, Northern Trust has a band, The Exceptions, and they just competed in the United Way uh, Battle of the Band <coughs> last Monday. And I'm not in the band like I sing because I sing horribly, but I do behind the scenes stuff. So I do videography for the band or take pictures or just whatever. Fantastic. Ro ro roadie kind of stuff. I like it. You can't be a rock star to be a roadie. I like it. I like it. All right. And you have served in the capacity of president, also sergeant at arms. What's next for you? What's next for me? Um, in your postmaster's journey. My area director wants me to be the first.
bargain to take those clapping hands away from you. <laughs> Lord, 
Thank you for that. Oh. Alan! Yes, I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to be. Alan, please. Where are you? Oh, good lord. Hi! I'm so glad you're here. Look at this whole shuffle of papers. Right. We're good. We're good. So good. Right here. Let's give Sima a big <laughs> I just want to say it's Simba, not Simba like the Lion King, but I appreciate uh, the roar. I did say Simba. No, you did, but I'm just... Oh, okay. Well, Simba, yes, this is Simba. <laughs> all right. So anyway, Simba, you have been um, the contest master extraordinary. All right. I appreciate all of your efforts, and we're going to let you relax, and I'll buy you a glass of wine. I'm going to have one of those. Yes! <laughs> contest and what great contestants what a lot of fun I want to acknowledge our contest chair Bruce um, I just Can't do it. Chambers. <coughs> Bruce Chambers he's um, area director so let's give Bruce a <laughs> and without further ado I'd like to invite Barbara where's Barbara over there over there here's Barbara Beckley come on over there Yeah, Vidya Srinivasan. Woo! 